Hey guys, and welcome to Expose Your Talent Online with MyArtistPortfolio.com. My name is Jewel Talentino, and in this video, we're going to show you how to use pop-up domination with MailChimp. Okay, so what is pop-up domination, and why do you need it? Once you've set up your social media and email to have everything connected to your website, pop-up domination is a great way to capture your fans, their name, and contact information so that you can always keep in contact with them and send them updates about your shows or any new pieces of artwork you've worked on, etc. This is important because it allows you to build a connection with your database, which is the key to making money off of your talent. When you connect with your fans and provide them with value, they're more likely to purchase something from you. How does it do that? Well, when visitors arrive on your site, there's going to be a pop-up offering your visitors something for free. So, like a free download of your song, a free ebook that you wrote, or a free e-coupon for a free photography session with you. They're going to enter their name and email address in that pop-up. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set that up and what the end result looks like. The first thing that you're going to need to do is get the pop-up domination plugin. You can find this plugin on our toolkit page. So you just go to estatinoconnections.com and click on the toolkit tab. And if you scroll down to website tools, you'll see pop-up domination. So click that and you sign up for that, get the, po get the plugin. Once you have that, you're going to need to upload it to your website. We have that already uploaded in our plugins right here. To add new plugins, just go to add new, upload, and you're going to need to browse for it. It should be on your desktop and you can just upload it that way. And then it was, it's going to show up in your plugins area. So once you've done that and activated your plugin, make sure that it looks like this so it says settings deactivate edit. So that means it's activated you're going to want to click on settings. This is where we're going to customize the whole look and feel of the, the pop-up and when to schedule it. So you'll see all these tabs up here. You're just going to want to go through them one by one. So the look and feel. There are seven different templates that you can choose from and you can choose the button color and the overall color. So you can see the preview of what it looks like right now. This is what a sample one is going to look like based on what you've chosen here, based on the, the template number. So you can just go through all those ones and see which one you like. The next is the mailing list HTML. We're not going to go through that right now. We're actually going to get that information later on. So we'll come back to this. And under the template fields, you're going to want to write the title of what you want to pop up. And you can just leave these right here. This will already be inputted. So you want the person's first name and their email address. Next is list points. So you have the ability to put four list points when the pop-up uh, shows up on the screen. I'll give you an example. So I'm going to put this is a test and click add new and you can put up to four. So you're going to want to put points, you're going to want to choose the best points that relate to whatever you're giving away for free. And then you're going to want to go to schedule. Now this is how often the pop-up shows up on your fans screen when they go to your website. We left these uh, same settings that, that they've recommended. So right here it says seven. So when they land on a page, when they land on your website, it'll pop up for the first time and then it won't pop up again until seven days after. And we want the pop-up to show up on every page. So not just only on the home page, so let's say they, they landed on your contact page first, it will still show up at that time. You can choose to have the pop-up show up on a specific page. That's up to you. Now, you can actually preview what we've done here. 
So let's just click on preview and I'll just show you a better view. Okay, so it's we've got here the title, expose your talent online, and the list points. I only put one list point just to show you, and that was this is the test, and this is a graphic that we uploaded here. So that's just a preview of what it looks like. Another thing I forgot to mention under template fields is uploading your picture. So, not your picture, but a picture of your product or whatever you're giving away for free. So you can do that here by, by pressing upload file. Okay, so that's all you want to do for that right now. So you notice pop-up domination is inactive right now. When you press this button right here, turn on, it's going to turn it on. So we're going to leave it active, inactive right now. So now we're going to go back to that mailing list HTML portion. For this, you're going to want to go to MailChimp.com and I'm already signed in here. You can get a free account. Okay, so in order to build a list of people's names and email addresses, you're going to need to c connect pop-up domination to an email marketing service like MailChimp or Aweber. Both of these sites allow you to build mailing lists. Aweber is the most popular and credible. You've probably already heard of it. The first month is a trial month and it's a dollar. And after that, you're going to have to uh, sign up for their services, whereas MailChimp um, it's exactly the same as Aweber, but it's free until you get the first 2,000 subscribers. So we use MailChimp and haven't had any problems with this, with this service. So I'm going to show you how to connect your MailChimp account to Pop-Up Domination. Okay, so once you log in, you're going to hover over the Create Campaign button and click on regular old campaign. We're going to set up a new list. Click set up a new list. Okay, so you're going to want to fill out the appropriate information to create a new list. And when you're done, go to the bottom and click save. So we're just going to put this as a test. Okay, so once you do that, go over to design sign up forms and click on the list you just created so that was test okay so you're going to, going to want to click on forms and response here and then you're going to see a list of everything you can build and design on the MailChimp for that specific list the most important things that you need to build and design are your sign up form, your thank you page your opt-in conf confirmation email and your confirmation thank you page you can customize the others if you want, but uh, these are the four that you're going to be using the most. Select the first thing you're going to build from the drop down menu on the right, and you can add whatever fields you want by clicking on it. Once you select a field, it puts a dotted box in the preview. To edit the content in the box, hover over it and click on edit. Once you've built the form, with the fields you want, click on the Design It tab to preview it and change your colors. Make sure you always click on the Save button when you're making any changes. So you're going to want to go through customizing each form in the same way. If you don't know what text to include, you're welcome to opt in to copy the text we used. Just be sure that your Thank You page opt-in confirmation email and confirmation thank you page all have links to your Facebook and Twitter accounts that you have a link to your free ebook or download on your confirmation page once you've designed it and saved all four click on the link that says for your website near the top of the page you'll want to embed everything that you've created directly on your on your website so click the first link that says sign up form embed code. Scroll down to where it says copy and paste. Click on the box with with all the code then right click and select copy. Go back to the pop-up domination settings and click on mailing list HTML. So you're going to want to right click in this box area here and you're going to want to paste. You're going to want to click update options and test it all out. Make sure you go to your website and go through the entire process of signing up if you're as if you were a new visitor.
to make sure everything works out properly. So I'm just going to click turn on here and just make it active to see what we've got. And let's click on home. Alright, so we have the, the pop-up domination right here that, that's just come up. Now this is going to be able to capture your fan's name and email address. So that's all we have right now in this video. Now, if you get confused, you can email us at info at esatinoconnections.com and uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Alright, good luck and we'll see you guys in the next video.